and uh, welcome to the Ministry of Information for a very quick brief this morning, specific to one item. Uh, three years ago, His Excellency the President announced restrictions on the movement of persons in 40 MMDAs between the Greater Kumasi and Greater Accra areas. One of the major questions that has come during this period is a question about food security, availability of food, food prices, even at this point in time. The Minister responsible for Food and Agriculture, the Honorable Dr. Fri Koto, is here with us this morning to make a statement on food security, availability of food pricing, especially during this period. He is supported uh, by a number of officers um, from ministry, including Deputy Minister Kennedy Osei Nyakun, Chief Director of uh, the Ministry, and the Ghana Buffer Stock Company Limited. Mr. Hanan is here with us. So let me very quickly invite the Honorable Dr. Efri Yakuto to make a statement to us. Honorable Mr. Minister for Information, Deputy Minister for Food and Agriculture, Directors of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture here, the Chief Director. I have mounted this podium for one specific purpose, and that purpose is to assure the people of Ghana that in spite of what is happening, the very difficult circumstances that we find ourselves in, with the pandemic, there is more than enough food in the system to see us through this very difficult period. I'm saying this for two reasons. The mad rush that we've seen in our markets in the last three days, Saturday in particular and Sunday yesterday, to stock up on food and a spike in prices which everybody's complaining about is totally uncalled for. It's totally uncalled for because thanks to planting for food and jobs, this country has more than enough food to take care of, uh, of the citizenry in this period. You shouldn't forget that food prices are seasonal. When the rains begin to fall and farms begin to plant, that's when we have the lowest stocks of food in this country. And that's when you have the highest prices of food. So the aggravation which has been brought on by this mad rush because of fear uh, of uh, shortage is totally unnecessary for simple reason that we have become, Ghana is an exporter of food to our neighbors and neighboring countries, and the last time I appeared here about a month ago, I demonstrated very clearly to you what is happening in the last three years to exports of 90 food items to neighboring countries as far as North Nigeria to, to Mali and, and so on. So it's not necessary. Secondly, um, I was getting calls even from some of my regional directors of agriculture about the exemptions uh, as to personnel of the value chain from farmers all the way to distributors of inputs and so on. And I will say here again that the, the food chain is exempted. We are talking about the uh, kinky sales on the roadsides, apache uh, sellers for uh, uh, workers and so on, uh, restaurants, uh, the markets, the markets are open. All these uh, uh, players are exempt from the relations, whether in Accra and Greater Kumase or outside uh, uh, these two restricted areas. Farmers are free to go about their normal uh, uh, duty of going to their farms. The transporters are go, should go about the normal duties of transporting farm inputs like fertilizers and seeds, 
products like uh, maize and other transporters are free to carry them to the, to the markets. The main markets around the country have uh, made, there's an exception for food. They can still trade food, um, the small markets, the medium-sized market, the regional markets, for the Chiman to Makola and so on. They are open for business for food. So I can assure the people of Ghana there is no need to rush to stock up. As far as we are concerned in this sector, business carries on as usual. So there shouldn't be any worry at all about the fact that markets are closed. Markets are closed, are closed to other goods, but not food. So food, as you all know, is, is life. And of course, the president, in his wisdom, recognizes this very, very well, and I made exception for the total food chain. So in terms of the ministry itself, there will be staff that will be selected and given identity cards and so on for the administration of the sector. But in terms of the players themselves, I'm talking about the market women, talking about the food, uh, 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 those who prepare food, restaurants and so on, which uh, of course we have to keep all the time, making sure that we keep the distance of two minutes from each other uh, to ensure that even in the, in the markets, because most of the stalls will be closed to business, we have plenty of space for the market, the, the, uh, the, the food uh, uh, vendors to spread themselves out to make sure that the distances are kept. So that is the, the message that uh, we are sending out. In addition to that, the agriculture sector is part of the package that the Minister of Finance is going to announce for the value uh, chain uh, place, like the millers, we know that Ghana, we are now embarked on this massive effort to be self-sufficient in food in the next two, three years. As I speak to you, the rain started in the forest areas of Ashanti, Bronga, Hafu, parts of the central region, eastern region, and Volta region, OT, and so on. These are, uh, we, we sent the test out. They came back this weekend. Farmers have started earnestly preparing their lands, and some have even started planting and uh, the supplies of seeds and fertilizers, improved seeds and fertilizers, are very busy. And just to assure you, last year, 2019, we distributed nearly 18,000 metric tons of improved seeds and fertilizers, uh, improved seeds to our farmers in terms of the grains. This year, we intend to nearly double it to 30,000 metric tons, and we are on course. So the uh, arrangement for planting for food and is still very strong and farmers have continued to show great interest. So in terms of the, the uh, fundamentals, Ghana still remains very, very strong with our food supply chain very active. And I can assure you that there is no prospect of any shortage. Well, food prices have gone through the roof. Uh, international rice uh, uh, prices are now 50, 70 dollars per ton above what it was before the pandemic. But we are shielded from it because Ghana is on this path to be self-sufficient in rice. We have also been encouraging soya as a means of ensuring that we become self-sufficient in poultry. As you know, soya is a major input to uh, poultry feed. And Ghana was very short. We're planting for food and jobs. Now, last year, we were able to produce nearly 200,000 metric tons of, uh, of uh, soya. And uh, because of that, people taking advantage to export. We are going to regulate that export to ensure domestic uh, output of poultry feed is sufficient uh, to meet our new poultry project, which is coming up under the realm for food and jobs. So there's no need for anybody to panic, to go and stock up food which they wouldn't need. Uh, and I'm appealing to everybody to come and to be assured that this government is determined that the growth path that we have chosen and the plan for food and jobs will go on uh, steadily without any interruption whatsoever. So at this stage, I would like to uh, uh, pause here and take some uh, interactions from the media, uh, whatever it is that uh, 
uh, bothering their minds about uh, what we are doing in this period, we'll be too glad to give the fullest explanation. Thank you very much. Start off with a quick question on food prices. Food prices. So availability, yes, but what does this mean for prices, especially um, in the midst of the current challenges? Yes, you know, prices are very dependent upon the fundamentals of supply and demand. As I've said, seasonally, you expect the end of the first quarter and the beginning of the second quarter of the year to have an increase in prices of food generally because stocks are very low and, and farmers are busy preparing their lands for the for the new season. So that is generally what one would expect. But on top of that is this mad rush to stock up, which has actually accentuated the, pro, the, the situation. And uh, like night and day, uh, once everybody comes back to normality and the assurance that the food uh, supplies are there, these prices uh, are just temporary. They're going to come down. So those of you rushing to buy at two, three times the price of what it used to be, you're just throwing money away because the food, the stocks will be there in the markets and the food will be there to the, uh, the uh, watches sellers and, and, the, and the other uh, food uh, 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 vendors to be able to meet the demands of the poorest in the society and of the highest in the society. Some markets are open uh, for food. Some market, supermarkets are selling electronics and so on. Those won't be allowed. But the food sections on, in these uh, 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 middle market will be open. So there's uh, the opportunity for the uh, purchase of the product, of the, of the fat produce, which is wache or kenke. Uh, kenke seller will have enough uh, maize to prepare their kenke. The rice, as I said, will be enough for the watches to buy at their normal prices to be able to supply and so on. So the, there's no need, as I said, to spike the price because normally you take two bags every week or a family may have uh, 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 four bags a month and then they go and buy 12 bags to stock up you know, at twice or three times the price. That's totally un uh, unnecessary. So we are saying that don't waste your money on unnecessary stocks of food because the food will be there tomorrow for you. It will be there next month and the month after. I and mean, things are getting better in Ghana because of the delivery on the promise by the president in terms of growth of agriculture. And we are on track. The, the, the virus is doing damage in other sectors of our agricultural economy, but not as far as food is concerned. You know, we have swollen shoot virus in, uh, in our cocoa farms, which we, are, we started earnestly battling with. That is also a virus, just like the coronavirus. It's a virus, but it's a virus for cocoa. And cocoa is not food that we, primary food that we depend upon in this country. So all our grains and our tubers and so on, they, and the legumes and so on, they are safe. I mean, of course, we have the uh, fall army worm, which is coming every year. We have stocks to stop them this year. We have distributed as much as the farmers uh, require to make sure that we stop them in their tracks because now they become part of, of the biology of this country. Uh, so that is the only immediate day, but that is under control. I mean, farmers have the experience of three years to control uh, the emergence of uh, uh, the fall army where the beginning of season, like now. But now they are used to it. They know the, they know the practice and the drill, and they are working very, very uh, uh, carefully to make sure that that is under control. Otherwise, Everything is normal. Our projection of our supplies to farmers, and as you know, we are subsidizing, this government is subsidizing agricultural inputs, mainly fertilizers and seeds by 50%. Never happens anywhere in West Africa. All the countries around us, they are not even subsidizing their inputs by even 1%. Ghana, we are doing 50%. When it comes to agricultural machinery, the government of Nana Dodanko Kufuadri is subsidizing agricultural machinery, tractors, and others by 40%. Unprecedented. So, all these programs, uh, good programs of, uh, of the government, are ongoing, 
as I said, the rains are here uh, in the forest belt and in the Targon Park, and farmers are endlessly working as if nothing has happened, and they will deliver like they've done the last three years. So there's no need for anybody to panic. Prices, which have spiked over the weekend, I can tell you, like night day, they're going to come down. So uh, let's behave normally without any panic. So, Minister, I think I'll take a pause here and um, I'll wait for any questions that may come. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Minister. May I ask them to set up the microphone properly? I do understand that uh, those who are on the platform also have some questions. So, please get a microphone ready there, the microphone here, and let us quickly take a question. Yes, sir. Please come this way. Any other questions so that I can direct you here before I go onto the platform for more questions? But your friend is Samuel Adoba and the free. We are the Mao TV Africa. Now, you have a park as I know, or can you find food prices? Say, a Diane war form. Now, you know, we say, I cry, I do not know why Diane or more money by me from Krasi, touching my name. Kumasia <laughs> Okay, Ernest. Thank you very much. Um, so this morning, um, we understand that my name is Ernest Mina from Journeys. Ernest, Ernest from Journeys. Um, my colleague who was at Katamanto uh, this morning reported that the tax force of the AMA has seen some uh, food items from traders there. And these are people who are saying Okuru and food staff generally. Um, we want to understand what the coordination is between the ministry, the emergency response team, and the Metropolitan Assemblies, the tax force. Uh, secondly, the minister talked about a patch that the finance minister will announce that will take care of some of these people in the food value chain. What exactly uh, is this package he's talking about? The 35 million, the 1 billion, what exactly? Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, the question is from the platform. So that we don't have to back and forth. Honorable Minister has to also attend to some other business. So, so we are getting questions from our Facebook page and the Ministry of Information Festival. Um, there are similar questions from the Ministry of Information Festival. Um, there are similar questions from the Ministry of Information Festival. Um, there are similar questions from the Ministry of Information Festival. Um, there are concerns about the uh, traders who are taking advantage of our customers or they don't even know what the price is. Is the Minister of the Ministry aware? Is there a way we can check? Because if some of them stated that uh, it's an opportunity for them to, you know, make some uh, more money. Others. Yes, then we will So have can to, anything be done to control anything? prices? Exactly. That's, okay. uh, that's the question. Yes. Okay. Um, thank you. Honorable Minister, about four major questions. The first in three, um, one more person did be on a bank crime. And I said, Kumase, the NST is asking about uh, reports of Kantamanto task seizing food items. What is the level of coordination? Uh, any more detail on the package by finance and how it affects the food sector? And can anything be done to control prices, even as some persons seek to deliberately profiteer at this time? Honorable Minister. Didi Kaino, Samuel, TV Africa. Enye nukwe se, ubiye ntimi mfedli imfi, in Croatia, a Diano, a Crafono, a Hojuma, a man crying, and Yano Cracra. Restrictions, no, a Nipa wants them the Eka, Yanka, a Diane, and Nasa Cargo wants them. Restrictions, no, and yet a Diane, and I say, in Sua Nasa Bibia wants them. Nipa no more free, Mia Mia, Omopas on Bank, and I saw Bacumaseno. Omuna, I say, now, Chimia, no, yeah, Ubiantra, baby, or tear. 
nti wo won kai a woni kokumase wo kumase a unti mema nkai wo won kra wo beti unti min ko eh 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 takrade sani amanu nsi she na wo na ni nyi ni pa ho asem enye aduane ho asem kwa se de meka aye no san shi she ye corona virus no eni pa na dam na no na yu she ni pa ni pa na de nante eni nti na man pani se obi antra ba bia oti e wo won kan a tran ofie se enye djuma e ho hia pa so so ba bontia tran ofie enye ade a e fa djua e dia ne ho kwa enu nti na me ka se ene ma aba se en ko fo di e dia ne ne ye ye fo dia ne e wo e djom a ye ji wo mo abode ni ade ade ne ho hia if you say, I'm your man of bar, so when him so china, and no assign to one way no ma, Munya be near, and I know you be beside noir, Nantia Siomo, a journey be brave or may you move. I acquired you become man on a man on tongue. In Tien here, sir, change now or so bar, now dear beer, bag me in and Cadabia Autono, or so won't go away do. As I only Pacona or Tono, so I won't say any here until no, or the born of the two. In Tino. And you know, say, say, one more car for one more drive, somebody, a journey free, uh, me a bank, and I said, you know, you're pretty mom of my, and you know, cray. Oh, moon called Jumaso said, the BI, no, no, and ran away, dear Bano, come home, and I'm better, Motia say. Now, any, the task force of MA have seized food items. They are not required to seize food items. I think these are some of the teething problems that emerge when a new regulation comes into force. So if somebody is misunderstanding their sense of it, um, we will take this matter up and investigate uh, with the AML authorities, but they are not supposed to seize food. Food is sold freely without any hands to anybody, the seller or the buyer. As I said, either raw food or plantain, yams, or if it's a press food, uh, um, uh, kinky, or, or, or whatever, food is allowed to be sold without any hindrance. The package of the finance minister to the finance, finance ministry, we are focusing on three products. We are focusing on rice. We are focusing on soya and we are focusing on poultry because these are the ones that we are most dependent upon from outside the country in terms of the volumes and the value of imports so you will see that uh, the millers we are talking about those who mill the rice paddy which is harvested by the farmers the rice paddy has to go through a machine in order to get the green rice that you and I eat. There is enough capacity uh, to do so in Ghana. If you take all the mills in this country and you look at the quantity of uh, paddy produced, there's a, there's a shortfall. And there's one thing that government is determined to do to increase the milling capacity for rice. So we are importing our rice mills from China, and um, Brazil and India subsequently in this country. They are coming board. But what the, the, the support that we are talking about is to give working capital to rice millers so that they can buy paddy from farmers. I estimate that there are about 250,000 metric tons of rice still with farmers as we speak from last year's harvest, which the millers have not been able to mop up because they don't have enough working capital. So the Minister of Finance and the governor, gov the, gov the governor of the bank are putting their heads together through SL, which is the new instrument that has been brought on board, to work closely with the commercial banks in order that they are able to give working capital to the millers to, to buy for farmers uh, to build and then sell on the, onto the value chain. So that is the kind of uh, support that we are talking about. In all, in addition to uh, the buffer stock company, which uh, we are recommending something like 100 million 
uh, Ghana cities to support their teams to mop up excess uh, uh, produce from farms. We are talking about uh, something like another 2 million Ghana cities for both uh, soya millers, the, the poultry uh, feed millers, and also the, the, uh, the rice millers to enable them to mop up the quantities that we think are in the system. So is the, as far as agriculture is concerned, our part of the special package that uh, we require from, from the Ministry of Finance. Thank you. Yes, in terms, sorry, uh, um, the price controls. To be honest, given the situation in Ghana today where we are having surpluses, there's no need for price control. It's only the consumer behavior, instant behavior towards the, the emergency which has caused it, and it's temporal. And I don't know how many people bet anything. I'm prepared to bet that in the next week or two, prices will come back to normal once people realize like the essence of this uh, um, uh, interaction to assure the people of Ghana the consumers of food that there is more than enough food in the system they don't need to rush to stock up because this is now a world situation we are talking about just two weeks uh, with a possible extension of the movement depending upon if you are successful in what you want to do uh, two weeks we will be back to normal so it is a, a very short period of interruption, and there's no need to stack up. The moment be, be, the consumers behave, be, begin behaving normally, all the prices will come back to their levels. So that is what I can assure you. If there wasn't enough in the system and we had to wait for import of rice and other things, then I could say that, yes, you need to cover your, yourself and your family for the next two or three weeks. But there's absolutely no need because we have more than enough stocks within this country to feed the people of this country for many months uh, to come. This is only a two-week uh, uh, hiatus, and I don't think it deserves such uh, uh, behavior of a mad rush. Thank you. Honorable Minister, uh, there was also the concern that you send a word of caution to those who are deliberately increasing their wares, you know, taking advantage of consumers. And I will plead that you could also, you know, translate that in the local language, especially tree, so that then people who are also listening, especially those who are. Uh, you know, uh, report local languages can also use those sound bites and then send the message. On Very the well. Are there any others? Um, just before we do that, the Fast Talk Company will also be doing some follow up uh, conversations following the Honorable Minister's uh, comment. So I'll let the Honorable Minister uh, do a quick summary in chief for us and respond specifically to that. And if there's a word for persons out there who may be procuring. Uh, and then uh, I do know he will take leave of us to attend some other business, and then I can let Afar also wrap up for us. Minister. Thank you, Minister. Um, and therefore, as some of you said, Ben and Sunny, you said, if you boa, a war, a jump. A young phone be at a two or more boom than the dinner. She said, A binum crano, a dear yes, the mienoa, no, the GCD and nine. And in Nanujina, a Samoa, a Elso, saying, Go for the bridge, he said. Now, you know, I buy your share, sir, a Obian Trenfield, coronavirus, no, young, young mano, a mrafom, no. And if I will be a common and you know, or called Jomwa, I dear, dear, uh, Betim and Naya also a tar. No, I told you now, go for a chair, Gusua, yeah, almost so, the day, almost so, pay at all. Now, at the Sambibri, a bar, a jum. Now, they only say, Obiano, or Tony B, no, who said, Bia. Don't we be a little at the end of a fee? We be a bemoir. I feel don't we back around the name in our son or better town say a boar back around the jay. And no dear, and yadia a yaduma. Just a month for and cheer who 
omo an chi enwu eniam no so a eh enko ba se nipa obetu no bo mu hizo wutu bo mu a obi an enfiu obekọ bi a ebo no enso eh kakra na enso sa man foko jom bebre na fe be bia no eh jeno se bodi o bi bia na atu agu so a na ma eni bo no kosro no na ye ka se ehu hia se ibetu agunia ma so jom if you say dwane no bebre wo e won kwase a ba bi a ye due duane ba bi ye twa emon ni nyamane me nyina e duane no e wo ho a obi an hye ho mra se sa duane na e won kwase no ye mfa mra kumase ne nkran ne ye meton e nchi se a wo ho no e ye nipa a wo mu fi kumase ba an na e ko kumase e no na sa no se en che se aduane nso e ka ho en che aduane de e be ba en ti en hu hia se we be tutu nrika ko jom akotu to bo de no ne ne amane ma ye hia se e be di ne na twi na ye ye se de e wi ase ba wi ye e nya ne o wi ase nya na ye to bi sika we bo nya ye de to e no na ma e bo no kosro no na de e kan ne se en ne adwumade a ye di e e che se Abai ahu se sa ne ma no koso se duane bo koso ifi se ni ko fo achi eguso a ye no eh aboarding akofi ya ifi se se obi a to de de bi obedi a ebo no beba fom na me che mo se ena ye dia abonten ye dia to adi ene aban dia to adi se duane bebre wo ho ndi hia se obi e ba ko to de bro uh, eh eh wo a bain him say, Edena Gana for you did. T. San Jichain and Chichemi, and I no pay me de Bremo, the Massa. Thank you very much. Honorable Minister, we are most grateful. Um, I will take leave of us to attend to other business of state. I will invite uh, Mr. Hanan of the Buffer Stock Company Limited uh, to just make a few remarks uh, on what they are doing at side. And if there are any questions for him, I'll take it uh, as we wrap up. So as all minister takes leave of us, Mr. Hanan of Buffer Stock, please join us. Uh, we have some five more minutes, some few remarks from your side as well. And then we'll wrap up um, afterwards. Thank you very much, Minister for Information, my Deputy Minister, colleague directors, ladies and gentlemen of the media. We on our side, we have been working prior to this pandemic. We have alliances buying companies who are already in the full value from farmers. And uh, apart from the current stocks that we have, we have been applying to government institutions like the free senior high school program and the school feeding program under Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection. As we speak now, we have a stock capacity, stock that we have maize, we have 10,000 metric tons of maize. We have 20,000 metric tons of rice, 
4,000 metric tons of uh, cowpea and 2,000 metric tons of millet. And like I indicated, purchases are ongoing throughout the country. Our licensed buying companies are all over buying. And also, like the Honorable Minister have also indicated, there is no need for panic stocking of food. We are working very hard to make sure that strategically our warehouses are stocked with food. Strategically, we will meet the national food basket of our dear nation. And we are committed in taking this education outside the Ministry of Edition of Information Conference Room to interact with Ghanaians and let them understand what we are doing in terms of food security. It is a national security concern. We have various stakeholders that we are working with. National security are there. Uh, our dear farmers, licensed buying companies, and our licensed suppliers. And as we are all aware, uh, there have been closure of government of all our schools. So any preparation that we have done prior to the closure of these schools, we are channeling all those foodstuffs into our warehouses that are strategically located, especially to the affected areas or areas where we have recorded uh, uh, the corona virus. But we are very, very optimistic that there would never be a shortage of food in Ghana. The planting for food and job dividend would take care of the situation. We are very confident about that. We are assuring Ghanaians that we are doing our best. Our farmers are there doing their land preparation. Some are planting, like the minister have indicated. They have taken their, their inputs, which are subsidized 50 percent, and they are very happy about that. We are going on with our normal activities of agricultural value chain, from production, harvesting, storage, and distribution. We are doing our best, and we want to assure all Ghanaians that there shouldn't be the need for any panic skin of food. That would automatically increase the prices of various food items. Let's only buy what we need immediately. Let's not think that Ghana is on its knees in terms of food. We are not on our knees in terms of food. We are doing our best. Our licensed buying companies are all over buying and stocking. And funds are available to pay them and when they supply into our warehouses. Our staff from district to regional levels are all at post working to make sure that any grains that is coming into our warehouse will go through proper quality control checks before it's admitted into our warehouses. Honorable Minister, uh, on this note, I would like to also thank you for the opportunity. I don't know if there are any specific questions for buffer stock. Specific questions for buffer stock. We'll draw down the curtain here. And I thank you. All right. So, English guests, ladies and gentlemen, we'll draw down the curtain here. This was a quick brief by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, uh, supported by the Buffer Stock Company Limited on security and food pricing, especially in these uh, two within uh, the areas where restrictions have been imposed. Um, we're grateful for your time. Thank you for being with us.